Good morning! Happy, merry day after Christmas! I am here setting up for the first video draft of my Icebreaker Toastmaster talk, and I need your critical insights. There is good, bad, and ugly parts of the talk. Need to work on my gestures, my body movement, and content of the talk, what needs to stay and what I can take out. I need your critical insights. I will enjoy them. So have some fun. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Toastmaster. Okay, use your head. Goals in life bring success. Goals equal success, no goals, no success. I had to give up on the idea that wandering through life was a smart plan. The first thing I need to do is write down some goals. One of my goals is you, all of you. I love people, I love the power of positive thinking. When people ask me how I'm doing, I tell them, I am doing better than I deserve. When I used to ask people how they were doing, they would tell me they're fine. Their dog just died. They're on the verge of bankruptcy and their marriage is in shambles. And they tell me they're fine. Really. I want to get to know the real you. We've all met people that have energy and enthusiasm and passion, they're over the top. They want to get to know you. They ask you three questions, then a fourth, yet they haven't even let you finish with the first three. They violate all your personal space. Yes, I'm that guy. I've learned that I need to dial down my intensity a bit in order to really get to know people. I've changed how I approach people. I will ask you what the best part of your day is. Have you ever asked that question of anybody? What is the best part of your day? You're going to find if you consistently ask people what is the best part of their day, it's going to change their energy level and your energy level. My past, better than I deserve. My present life, better than I deserve. Today, I'm going to share with you my vision, my vision for my better than I deserve future. And how do I plan on getting a better than I deserve future? I'm going to have those written goals. I believe success in life is a balance in seven areas of life. That's your faith, your family, your fitness, your money, work, personal development, and your social life. And let's face it, true balance, that is a myth. I was once balanced and it lasted three seconds. Today, I think of balance more like spinning plates. You have those guys with a stick, and they have those plates, and so they have their stick, and they put a plate up there, and they start spinning that plate. So I take my faith plate, and I put it up on a stick, and then I take my family plate, and I put it up there, and my fitness, my work, personal development, money, and my social life, and I have all seven plates up there spinning. What I've discovered is life is like a roller coaster. So as I'm spinning these plates, when I was young, things were going pretty slow. I was going up the tracks of life. And then I started to get to the top, or middle age, and I looked down, and it looked pretty steep. And I thought that would be fun, and it has been fun. Life is coming at me fast and furious now, and it's never been better. It's truly better than I deserve. I've hit some things that's taken me upside down, and certainly every day now there's high bank turns left and high bank turns right. In order to have that success, these written goals, this macro big picture, better than I deserve future, has come into play. Underneath all those big picture goals are daily bite-sized habits that lead to success almost automatically. And I can 
would show you with a handout after this talk how I have this set up. Certainly it's easier said than done, yet it's simple and all of you can do it. Do you ever struggle with life? Do you ever feel like you're going to have a nervous breakdown before 10 a.m.? I know I do. In faith, my goal is more prayer. My wife and I are expecting our fifth child this month. And if you know anything about children, you know we need to pray more. That's number five. We need more prayer. How do you have a great family? How do you have or become a wonderful dad, a wonderful mother, a great wife, a great husband? My goal in family is spelled T-I-M-E, time. I've learned I have to give up things I thought I could never do without in order to take that time, pour it into my family, and now I get everything I've ever wanted. Do you want to be a lean, mean, fighting machine? How about just a little bit leaner and have some energy? My goal in fitness is to be consistent. Be a turtle. That's right. Healthy eating, no diets, physical activity seven days a week. Every time I read the book, The Tortoise and the Hare, that turtle always wins. Be consistent. How are you doing with money? Has anybody here ever made any mistakes with money? I've made so many mistakes with money, I have zeros upon zeros upon zeros on my mistakes. Our goal now in our family is every month we write down our budget, planned out on paper, on purpose, all the money coming into our family has a place to go and we are never using debt again. Do you want to have passion at work? Do you want to love what you do? My goal in work for 2010 is a laser focus, stick to the basics, less email, take that time, pour it into my team in person or verbally, and I join Toastmasters in order to communicate more effectively, and I need to listen better. Do you believe that who you become is shaped by what you read and who you hang out with? My goal in my personal development is to read, read, and read some more, and then I'm going to watch who I hang out with. Do you have any close friends? Do you have friends that you actually would never consider gossiping about? The average male 40-year-old has zero, that's right, zero close friends in life. My goal is to get some friends. How are all of you doing in the seven areas of life? Do you have written goals in all seven areas? If you do, you discover what I discovered that leads to a better than I deserve life. And my life is better than I deserve. Thank you.